now this video is about modern organization theory this is part of the paper organizational behavior many theories were given at different times and they are studied for better implementation in any organization one of them are modern organization theory so let us study this it is also in short we will say it more so modern organization theory is of recent origin developed in early 1950s which combines various features of classical and behavioral models to evolve a systematic view applicable in today's period modern theory studies the organization as an open system it studies the organization as an open system having supports interacting with each other now modern organization theory has a number of features which differentiate it from other early organizational theories let's see some of the features features of modern organization theory first is open view or we can open system view open system view implies that the organization continuously interacts with its internal as well as external environment for its survival and growth internal plus external environment it interacts with internal and external environment and it's very much necessary for its for the survival and growth of the organization second second feature is adaptive system modern organization theory considers an organization to be adaptive in nature it continuously strives to adjust itself to changing environment for its survival strive to adjust with the changing environment with the changing environment this can be achieved by bringing out internal changes in the functioning of the organization to meet the needs to the ever changing world third feature is probabilistic model probabilistic model modern organization theory says that an organization can never be deterministic but is more probabilistic in its outcomes management has to function in the face of many dynamic variables and there cannot be absolute predictability of the variables fourth approach or fourth feature is dynamic multi variables now dynamic multi variables of modern organization theory takes into account many variables which are ever changing in nature this suggests that there is no simple cause effect phenomena rather an event may be a result of so many variables which are interrelated and interdependent which makes organization a complex process now theories based on modern organization theories of modern organization i mean to say theories based on based on modern organization basically three three approaches or three theories we will read in it first is system approach second is contingency approach and third is mckinsey 7s framework 
so first approach is system approach this is very important approach so in system theory it is the big picture approach that overcomes the weakness of viewing things in two narrow perspective we can say this is a big picture approach and it helps in not narrowing the viewing perspective now it tries to view the organization as an integrated system composed of various subsystems which should be considered in totality when solving any problem in the organization it believes in the concept that the activity of an organization affects the activity of every other part the organization can achieve results when all the departments work in consideration and this follows the unity of directions so implication of implication of system approach system theory suggests reforms in organizational design it replaces the vertical relationship with lateral or flat relationship that suggests coordination among superiors subordinates and peers this theory suggests new structural models like project organization matrix organization and free form organization and also cybernetic in other crucial aspect of system theory so it this theory suggests new structural models like project model project organization model matrix organization model and free form organization so it integrates the linking process of both communication and control mm -hmm. under self self regulatory systems what are these subsystems of an organization subsystems of an organization the parts that make up the whole of a system are called subsystems each subsystem can be part of bigger subsystem thus a department can be a subsystem of a plant department can be subsystem of a plant a plant can be subsystem of a company a company can be a subsystem of an industry an industry can be a subsystem of an economy so carso and and yanaus carzo and anaus they were the people who identified three subsystems in an organization they have identified three subsystems important subsystems in an organization what are they so the three subsystems are technical subsystem social subsystem and power subsystem let us see them one by one first is technical subsystem so what is technical subsystem it includes knowledge and techniques of transforming inputs into outputs it includes knowledge and techniques of techniques of transforming 
inputs into outputs it also includes knowledge of tools and equipments includes knowledge of tools and equipments it also includes knowledge of employees skills employees skills and also the knowledge of job itself now technical subsystem constitutes formal arrangements of the functions second is social subsystem um uh, this includes individuals informal groups social groups status roles norms and values this includes individuals informal groups social groups the status rules norms and values this subsystem arises spontaneously from social interaction and shared values of people interacting in an organization values and accepted norms govern social subsystem third is or the c c is power subsystem the power can be defined as the capacity to include others to produce an intended result though the presentation of force is sometimes necessary people in the organization use power as an official authority or in the form of job importance or as an experience or as a result of their tenure as such formal structure plays a significant role in power distribution in the organization besides this individuals also acquire power by way of their skills knowledge competency in taking right decisions and transforming them into effective actions with successful results power of a skill so it covers the power of a skill power of knowledge power of competency power of taking right decisions power of power of effective actions powers gained as a result of successful results linking process of various subsystems linking process of various subsystems what scott says about it scott has identified three linking processes they were communication decision and balance according to scott communication decision balance are the three linking processes of the various subsystems likert he says or likert proposed linking pin model linking pin model and this model was given for connecting various parts of the organization and so it is based on two assumptions first assumption is every individual functions as a linking pin for interlocking groups 
second assumption was he, he is the group leader that individual is the group leader of the lower unit and a um, group member of the upper unit a group to group relationship exist the individual is the group leader of lower unit and also the group member of upper unit and so in this way it links the two different groups now khan khan say suggested overlapping role set model overlapping role set model now according to khan role is the expected behavior of an individual as a position leader now these roles create interactions with others and an organization can be viewed as a set of overlapping role sets now let's see some of the features of system approach features of systems approach a system is made up of several subsystems cast and rosenwig has identified five subsystem that is goals and value subsystem let me write the name first cast and rosenwig gave five subsystems one is goal and value subsystem another is psychological subsystem next is technical subsystem another is a structural subsystem and last is many managerial managerial subsystem the actual behavior pattern in an organization is determined by the interaction of these subsystems this is known as emergent behavior now new term was given for this emergent behavior there should be synergy between these subsystems synergy means that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts an organization can be a closed system or an open system depending on its interaction with its environment each system has a boundary that separates it from its environment a closed system has rigid boundary and an open system has a flexible boundary a system has flow of information flow of resources flow of energy these enter the system as inputs undergoes processing and exit the system as output now feedback is the central nerve in an organization for system control information is feedback to the people so that the work can be assessed and if needed corrected so a system needs to be adaptive to the changing environment now since this video is going to be very long system approach uh, the theories of modern organization the three theories system approach contingency approach and mckinsey seven frame work in the next video we will learn contingency approach and mckinsey seven framework till then goodbye